started playing with this in uh, 2005. Uh, for those of you who like to, to move plants around uh, from state to state or perhaps country to country, I know you guys don't do that, but I'll, but I'll say this. 
Dragon Fruit falls on their side, which is the, uh, the uh, conventional international trade of endangered species. So if you're sourcing plants from anywhere in the world, you gotta have a CITES certificate, and that has to be issued by the country of origin. There is no, uh, if you want to read about it, go to the AGES uh, website and uh, look for PPQ, Plant Protection Quarantine, in there, and, and all that information is in there. Obtaining an import permit for plants is the simplest thing. You just apply for it, and they will be free. You, you can get it, but then the issue is getting excited because it has political implications. Um, when I talk to the exporter, I'll sit down if you don't mind. When I talked to the guy in Nicaragua, the, uh, the nursery guy, he wasn't a nursery guy, but a dollar, a guy that had been working with dragon fruit in Nicaragua forever. Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua after the Sandinistas struck the government, they had a lot of uh, money uh, aid, like the USAID branch of the European Union, so they had a project promoting dragon fruit as an alternative crop for low income families. So they spent a lot of time in researching dragon fruit. And uh, so the, the lead person for that project was the guy that was sending plants to me. And when I spoke to him, he said, yeah, you know, I told him, they call him the fighters. Do you need a fighter? And I explained, he didn't know what fighters was. I explained to him what it was. And he said, no, we don't need that. It's not in danger here. We got thousands of acres here in Nicaragua. So I took his word for it and ordered about $1,200 worth of plants. They got to LA and I didn't even get, I didn't even get a chance to see them. They uh, asked for a CITES and I said, well, I don't have one, it's for research, and they go, oh, no, you need a CITES, and again, I never saw one. What they do with these plants, I guess that's how botanic gardens end up with a lot of exotic plants. They, what they have is they have uh, something that they call, they put a call out to botanic gardens all over the place, and they put them up for rescue. So botanic gardens, depending on the location and microclimate, they will claim and, and, and rescue these plants and then grow them as part of their collection. Uh, and so, I don't know, maybe the hunting for ended up with some of my plants. <laughs> you are? <laughs> Can we get him back now? <laughs> or maybe quail gardens, maybe, I don't know, bird child, whoever, you know, but they, they do claim them and put them out for rescue. And there is a story in San Diego where that where a grower was importing some plants from Asia, really exotic. They didn't have the proper permits. The plants got to LA, they confiscated, confiscated them, and somehow the guy found out where what the tiny garden rescued him. It ended up being Quill Gardens in San Diego, and then later he hired someone to steal the plants from the garden. Make the story short, he landed in the jail because they found out. So I mean they just what people do for the plants, right? And uh, so I lost that ship. Make the story short, I lost that ship. So I bought 1,200 bucks, and then uh, later we got a side and finally and that we were able to import the varieties, but then, you know, it had to pay twice for it, and uh, getting the side and I had to buy our majority of the side and I had to then uh, we had to do the same in, uh, in Honduras, but again, another side is, we managed to get one, but uh, my wife, who, the audience happened to be an attorney in Honduras and she did the plant of the woman. <laughs> so we were able to get another side of Honduras. We tried to get another uh, shipment of plants out of Nicaragua for, for and get another side and at that time they didn't even know what Latin Ellen. The reason why, you know what, we are waiting for approval from the USDA to export fresh fruit to the US and we don't want our plant material to get out of Nicaragua. So sorry, no side is anymore. So it's okay. And then in Honduras, it was just a mess to get a fight. It's not even with an attorney. We couldn't get it.